What's up guys, it's the Actual Justice Warrior here, and today we're talking about Get Out. You got your toothbrush? Check. Do you have your gator? Check. Do you have your cozy clothes? Got that. What? Do they know I'm black? Should they? From the creative mind of Jordan Peele of Key & Peele comes the story of Chris Washington going home to meet his white girl's parents. While normally these situations can be awkward, you can tell there's something sinister and creepy going on beyond the scenes. First things first, I love this movie. I've seen it twice in the theater and it's just a wonderfully executed and well done film. And I enjoyed myself both times for different reasons. The crowds into it, go see it with a big crowd if you can. It's just a really fun movie. As far as blending the horror and the comedy, he does a really good job. Although I would call it more suspense and comedy because it's more of a suspense thriller with some comedy elements in it. Instead of having your classic horror movie Harbinger, one of the characters just represents the audience and he's like, dude, don't go there. Like shit's going down. How are you not freaking out? He's that kind of character. He basically speaks for the audience. So now that you know where I'm coming from that I really like the movie and I think you should go out and see it, Let's talk about whether or not this movie is racist. The answer is no. Look, race is an obvious theme in this movie, and it is a race-based horror or race-based comedy. But just because a movie is about racism or about a character's racial fear does not necessarily make the movie inherently racist. If you think this movie is like an attack on white people or white people are always out to get black people, then you're just wrong. When watching most movies, you're seeing it from the subjective point of view of the main character. In this case, Chris Washington. His fears are personified on screen. It's almost as if the film is a visual representation of ideas. And despite the fact that I've never been a black man in that situation, I can relate to this character, and I think all of us can relate to this character. We've all had to meet a bunch of new people at a certain time and felt awkward about it, and felt kind of weirded out about it, and felt like these people didn't like them, or maybe that they're out to get them, or maybe the best solution is to get out. I look at some of the hate that this movie's getting on Twitter and the one bad review on Rotten Tomatoes, and it really all seems to be from people who haven't seen the movie or dismissed the movie out of hand before they gave it a real chance. It's reactionary and it's really like a different version of the PC culture that I'm against. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Art doesn't have to confirm your political ideas. Something can be beautiful whether or not you agree with its politics. Just because a movie has a member of one racial group as a protagonist, and a bunch of antagonists of a different racial group does not make it inherently racist. Not every movie needs to be the perfect pie of America on both sides of the fucking issue. If you try and make movies that blatantly pander to fucking every group imaginable, you're gonna have a shit movie. So please do me a favor, if you wanna go out and criticize Get Out, at least go see it. And go see it with an open mind. It's really well done. It's really well crafted. The reason I watched it twice is because there are many things that are set up subtly in the first and second act that pay off in surprising ways in the third act. It's really well structured. Like I asked somebody who loves film, this movie is a fucking textbook. So anyway, these are my brief non-spoiler thoughts on Get Out. It's definitely worth seeing. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, despite the fact that my skin complexion does not match the protagonist. Just give it a chance. If you want to see more content, click the window over there or subscribe. Follow me on all the social medias. This has been the Actual Justice Warrior. Until next time.